moving to fight number two on tonight's card. It's New Zealand versus Thailand and trained by the Professor Philip Lamb, Daniel Hatch from New Zealand. And he is set to take on a man with an enormous surname, Noel Lick Dwanlick. Oh, God. Good Lord, Hammer. Just call him Noel. 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 Noel Lick Dwanlick. Noel Lick Dwanlick. Look at the big one banners lick. coming out, Hammer. One lick. A lot of fanfare here tonight. As Nolik Dwanlik. Big stadium and uh, capacity crowd. So, uh, Asian counterparts. It's the voice of Asia, Hammer. <laughs> that is the hammer of Asia sitting next to him. For, for all you viewers at home who have not seen kickboxing, that is not us, okay? It's definitely not us. <laughs> Here we go. First round between Nolik Dwanlik and Daniel Hatch. Five by two, another amateur fight, warm up bout before we get into our pros. And Hatch in the red, Nolik Dunlick in the white. But we're just going to call Noel for sure. You know, Noel Nolik. I think we'll go the Noel. Nolik? We can't just turn the surname down too much, but we'll go Nolik. Nolik. Nolik's good. And for you guys at home, just put Dunlick at after every time we say <laughs> that, just to make up his full name. Nolik, it's official. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have this unison sort of commentary thing <laughs> happening between uh, ourselves and uh, the viewers at home. It's the first time ever having interactive commentary. <laughs> interactive commentary, I love it. <laughs> Southport Nolik in the white. It's a big occasion here for Hatch. Certainly the biggest stage that he's ever fought on. Step up knee to the midsection there from Nolik. High left round kick from the tie. And as we said, Hatch trained by the professor Philip Lamb, the Mr. Fuji of New Zealand Muay Thai, who's also the trainer of Chopper Chapman, who we'll be seeing a little bit later on in the show, Hammer. Well, the Chopper, be good to see him uh, in action in Hong Kong, a big event. And uh, certainly a lot of uh, the crowd have turned out to see uh, Chopper Chapman. A lot it's of around hype. Chopper, doesn't he? A lot of hype, a lot of hype uh, behind uh, the main event. So Hatch, just working nicely, a little bit tentative. I think, uh, as you said, Michael, probably one of the biggest events he's ever been on. And... Uh, He's uh, looking a little bit uh, sort of shaky at the start, but uh, working it well off the rear leg. Just thought the opportunity may have been there for a moment for Hatch with the right elbow, but perhaps didn't see it. Goes for the overhand left elbow does Hatch. Drops the right hand to the bread basket. Short snapping left hook over the top and a high right round kick. This is better work here it is from now. Hatch. He's settling nicely, Daniel Hatch, especially with the front, use of the front kick. He's uh, popping out the front kick there. You see another one. And uh, just keeping the tie at range. End of the round, we go to the towels. Nolik lifts his hands up. You know what? I'll uh, I'll give that first round to the New Zealander, Daniel I Hatch. Too. I think uh, he just did a good job. That was uh, probably the best kick of the fight from uh, Nolik. But uh, he came back nicely. Did uh, Daniel Hatch? Nice guard, nice defence. Settled nicely. Was a little bit nervy at the start of the round. Settled and then uh, put it together well, possibly to steal that first round. The New Zealander. OK, second round of five. First round unofficially. The hammer giving it to the hatch. And here we go in the second. Let's see if Nolik picks up the work rate here. Hatch just coming on with a strong combination work towards the end of the first round. Good front kick there from the Kiwi. Outside thigh kick, just stepping across to connect with the rear leg there. Then goes upstairs, does a southpaw. Nolik. Inside thigh kick from Nolik. Good double forearm guard there by Hatch. Cops a knee to the bread basket, turns off, tries to fire out the right hand. A little bit of assistance off the ropes there. Crossing elbow from Nolik, didn't have enough mustard behind it. He was looking to shatter the top jaw of Hatch. He's got a solid set of hands on him, the Kiwi hammer. I was going to say, he's got some good boxing skills, says the Kiwi. He's putting it together nicely. Nice push kick as well. I think uh, the tie probably has the... Oh, beautiful stepping rear elbow from uh, Nolik. That was a delicious elbow. Great, and again, great anticipation, rolling that rear elbow in the, through the guard nicely. And I think this is uh, certainly what the tie is going to go gunning for. I think when it comes to the hands, the boxing department, that uh, the Kiwi has the uh, the advantage. But when it comes to the elbows, the tie is starting to pick the gaps a lot cleaner and uh, possibly going to crush an elbow in. This is a very good second round here. Right hand from... Danny Hatch, shot to the bread basket, oh. another crossing elbow from Nolik. And they are really picking up the tempo now. A lot of work rate from both men. Oh, this oh. is this is this is uh, turning into a real good fight, this one. Both the fighters given it uh, a shot-for-shot shot process. 
High left round kick, forward knee, uppercut there from Noli. Goes to the outside, lead thigh. Just tenderising oh. the quadricep area in the overhand. Oh. Elbow again! He's going for the big headache maker. Get out the Panadol for <laughs> Daniel Hatch. Wow, what a powerful end to the round there from Nolwick. Well, i definitely give that round to the tie. And uh, landing some good, solid roundhouse elbow strikes, picking his shots nicely. Daniel had started the round nicely, but uh, the tie just pegged him back, worked consistently all the way through. Big shots, body shot, then went upstairs for the attempted elbow. And uh, Nolik really putting his uh, combinations together, step through knee. And uh, the tie certainly stringing uh, his combinations together nicely. But Daniel Hatch, you know, he's not letting uh, Nolik get too far ahead of him on the scorecards. And this is turning into a real interesting battle, Michael. Third round of five, outside thigh kick from Danny Hatch of New Zealand in the red. Checks the low kick, does Nolik. So does Hatch. Going at it one for one here at the moment in the third. Good high left round kick from the tie. What a power being chambered in that rear leg round kick of the southpaw, Nolik. Oh, Ooh, snappy, right snappy, right hand. snappy right hand there. Good right hand from Nolik. And trying for the leg kick. What a Vix here, Hammer. <laughs> More Ricks than a Serbian party here tonight in the centre ring. Ooh, jab two, round kick from Danny Hatch. That's just getting the uh, forearm across the face of Noli. This is certainly going to get a lot more invites for Danny Hatch on the international arena. He fires out a right hand up the tubes, and Noli just says, Come on, son. Short crossing elbow there from the tie. Well, I'll tell you what, this is uh, nice work from the Kiwi. I like his hand skills, beautiful hand speed. Punches straight, keeps the elbows in. And uh, I'll tell you what, when it comes to boxing, the Kiwi's got the uh, got the number, but the tie's just all round. Technique with uh, knees and elbows working well. There's the kick as well, low kick, chopping and chopping away. Oh, he's chopped out the rear thigh! Daniel Hatch takes a trip to the canvas. Huge outside leg kick there from Nolik. And there has to be a count, doesn't there? And well, yes, referee yeah, puts kick, it on now. It's a kick count. I'll tell you what, Michael, that's that rear thigh on many fighters that's never as conditioned as the lead thigh. And uh, you can bet that the tie's going to go hunting for that rear leg again. Wow, that thigh has taken more chops than a leg of lamb, and still Nolik goes after it. Crossing elbow from the tie. Cracks away again to the outside quadricep area. Straight right hand popping left there from Daniel Hatch, and the Kiwi rallies back now. Have a listen to the crowd respond. They are raising the roof at the Whoa. Queen Elizabeth Stadium. I'll tell you what, right on the buzzer, a bit of a flurry in the uh, in the red corner there by the Kiwi Daniel Hatch. He did a great job, rallied back nicely, but after taking the eight count because of that uh, the kick stoppage, that's uh, or the kick knockdown rather, that's going to hurt his scorecard. And again. Up high with the hands, Hatch. And I'll tell you what, in the boxing department, it's the Kiwi that's uh, that's got the number, but the tie is composed, cool and calm, and he'll rally back. Well, it'll be interesting to see what Mr Fuji, Philip Lamb, would have said to Daniel Hatch between rounds as we roll into the fourth of five, and this is an absolute cracker of a match. Round four! Well, uh, certainly the Kiwi, he needs this round now because I've got it first round to uh, the, the Kiwi, Daniel Hatch, second and third. Go uh, Nolik. Big overhand elbow from Hatch, and here comes the Kiwi again. Catches the kicking leg. Jumping oh. knee from Hatch. Gets airborne. Crowd now starting to rally behind the brave Daniel Hatch. Nolik storming forward. Barrage of knees in the midsection. Short right hand, and Hatch is in some trouble. Hatch has got to create a bit of range now. Well, he was winded with the knee, Michael, and uh, he, he's breathed it up. He's fought back nicely. But then now, Nolik's going for the rear leg yet again and very methodical in his attacks this tie. Oh! Big body shot there from Daniel Hatch. Nolik looking for the crossing elbow. He goes for the outside rear thigh again. Bread basket shot there from Hatch. Then backs up, fires the right hand once more. What a torrid bout this is. It has been non-stop action from the opening bell. Catches the kicking leg, Nolik. Fires a crossing elbow. Inside thigh kick from the tie. Doubles up on it to the lead leg. Ging tries to loop it around the back of the neck. Good work here from Nolik upstairs and downstairs. 
Straight right hand to the stern. And Daniel Hatch is on rubber legs here. He has uh, heard a couple more kicks and he's gone. His legs are hurting. They're corked up. And I'll tell you what, there's got to be some damage happening to that. Oh, oh there Daniel he goes. Hatch goes down again. His legs have taken more punishment than a bondage parlour. And the referee's going to call this one off. It's all over. Well, it is good night for Daniel Hatch. That's very unfortunate for the Kiwi, Daniel Hatch. Michael, he was doing a great job. I like his boxing skills. There's some good sportsmanship as the tie tries to help him up to his feet. But uh, Daniel Hatch will be back to fight another day. And I tell you what, get some conditioning on those uh, on those thighs, son, and you'll, you'll be a real force to be reckoned with in the weight division. Daniel Hatch was in the boxing department. I tell you what, he's pretty awesome, the Kiwi. And uh, this is how it went down. You see the tie, just have a look at that, have a look at that thigh. It's just reddened, it's bruised, it's battered. It's in, uh, it's in a lot of pain. And again, you just see him fold, bang. And that's a testament to the power of good leg kicking and uh, the tie, Nolik Dwanwick. TKO victory for Nolik Dwanwick over New Zealand's very brave Daniel Hatch. And the strap around the waist, the amateur belt.